Vivaldi Browser Tutorial and Review. In this video, we're going to be talking about one of the strongest browsers in today's world, and it's called Vivaldi, and we're going to be going through the steps and processes on how we're going to download it for ourselves and how we're going to install it. And after doing all of that, we're going to actually see its features and how it can be used with different procedures and how it can be different from other browsers like Opera, Google, and Microsoft Edge. So to start things off, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to Vivaldi.com and we're going to click on download Vivaldi. Obviously, it's available for Windows, Mac, Linux, Android and iOS. So you're going to download it from your platform and it should be a hefty file of around 110 megabytes. And when it's done, you're simply going to double click and we're going to click on run. Now, the best part about Vivaldi is that it's extremely fast and it's extremely useful. Okay, it uses proper AI technology and it gives you good and fun features to work with. So while our application is installing down over here, we're going to come into the features. So we have supercharged and super fast results. So obviously you can see that these browsers, you know, generally aren't built for the best kind of work or they aren't built for fast technique working. But that's what Vivaldi does. It gives you fast working and it's just really good to have this as a software for yourself. Then we have smart resource management where you have your very own customizable user interface and features which are designed to make browsing experience faster. And you have good tab management as well where you can create two layers of them if you want to. The privacy is also pretty good and the toolbar editor helps you a lot as well. So we're going to get straight into it because as you can see over here, our Vivaldi is now installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on let's go and look at that. Here's our Vivaldi browser. So if you want to get into Vivaldi's, you know, technicalities, first of all, you have tracker and ad locking. So obviously you can see that we didn't have to add this by ourselves. This was added before we came here. So tracker and ad blocking, which is pretty incredible because, you know, ads and trackers can be annoying. So you can turn both of this on these on and you're good to go. Then we also have this over here where they are going to be asking is bring your favorites to Vivaldi, you know, select your old web browsers to import bookmarks. So as you can see, I usually use Opera GX. So my Opera GX might have some bookmarks that I would like to import or it might have some settings or it might have some extensions that I would like to bring in Vivaldi. So you can simply choose this, but I'm going to skip this step for now. Now it says choose your style could be a beat style, human style, Vivaldi's very own, or you can go with a dark theme. I'm going to keep it dark. How do you like your tabs? Do you like them on the top? Do you like them on the left, bottom, right? Whatever you prefer can be provided at Vivaldi. I'm going to go with the top view because it's quite minimalistic and it's fitted in pretty well. So, you know, it doesn't bother me or anything. So I'm going to keep it there. Then it says manage your email in the browser with Vivaldi mail. So you can choose whether you want to start using Vivaldi browser right away or set up the powerful built in mail client first. So it depends on you. I'm going to go with a web browser because I don't really want to go into the proper mail client, um, you know, technicalities right now. Now, once we're done with this, our Vivaldi is all set to go. So you can simply go over to a new tab and search anything you want. Like, uh, let's say we're going to go over to something like YouTube. So you go over to it. Now, as we can see, the default search engine for Vivaldi is Bing, but you can change that for yourself pretty easily. All you're going to need to do is you're simply going to go over to your settings and you're going to change the default engine that you have for searching. And moving on, you also have saved bookmarks area where you can see all your saves in the left hand side. Then we have reading lists where you can add different entries into your reading list. So let's say if I want to add something, I can simply add this site into my reading list. And now it's going to be added over here. OK, so it's basically a reminder for us to let's say if I want to go back to this website to do some work, I can keep a reminder just in my reading list. Then we have the download section where you can find all of the necessary downloads that you get. We have history, which can appear over here. And we have notes where you can take notes from different sections. So let's say if I'm on a website, I want to take notes that uh, let's say I'm reading an article on dog. So dog food is expensive. You know, just sit, let's say I want to keep this note. So I make this note. I click on enter and there we go. So the note is now made and we're pretty much good to go. And now this note will stay in my notes over here. Pretty incredible, right? 
Then we also have an automatic translator straight in Vivaldi's very own tools and features, which is pretty incredible because not a lot of browsers, in fact, I don't think any browser allows this feature. Then moving on, we have windows where you can sync different windows in different ways. You can sync different tabs. And then finally, we have sessions. So, you know, normally, sometimes you might have a whole tab list open where you have 30 tabs open in your browser. And, you know, all of them are important, so you can't turn them off. So, in some bad case, your laptop or your system might turn off, or maybe you might lose internet, or maybe you just accidentally close your browser. You can restore the whole tab list by simply going to session. So let's say if I close Vivaldi right now, and I'm going to go ahead and search up Vivaldi again. We're going to go into the browser, and let me show you what the sessions setting actually does for you. So as you can see, Vivaldi loads in. It takes a few longer se seconds than most browsers out there, but trust me, this works as well. So if you want to restore a session, you're simply going to add the session's name. Like, let's say any previous session, I want to save this. I'm going to give it this name, click on save. And now we can see that this is saved as a workspace session. And this works really well with people who actually have a proper job that's remote. So after we've discussed all those features, moving on, we also have Vivaldi Social. Now, Vivaldi Social is Vivaldi's very own social media small platform that the Vivaldi users can actually talk on and use. Now, this is an incredible feature that we have in a browser because like this, you can increase your community size and just get a good, you know, integratory working when it comes to a browser. And moving on, you also have the Vivaldi very own help section. So if you have any issues with Vivaldi, if you want to ask any questions, those can be asked over here. So pretty easy. Now moving on, you can also show closed tabs. So let's say if I were to close this tab right here, and I'm going to click on this, look at that. It shows me the tabs that I recently closed. Then you have the cloud section as well, where you can see other tabs from other devices by signing in with a synced account which is pretty incredible, right? Like you can see other browsers on the same device, but you know, from one browser, which is pretty incredible. Then moving on, you can also manage different profiles just like any other platform. Now, the main issues is surrounding in the settings because once you go in the settings, obviously here are the general, you know, basic features that you can get in the settings. Then you have the sync section where you can begin data synchronization. Then we have the data theme section okay you can change the appearance and theme of your tabs and you can keep it any of these like there's stuff like hot pink blueprint purple rain private so let's say I like this one I'm gonna keep it like that pretty incredible right and the theme also has its very own editor where you can edit the different colors and different aspects of it then we have all the other things like quick commands, keyboard, mouse, privacy, security, downloads, web pages, network, and a whole lot more. And it keeps going on. So that's basically Vivaldi. And that is the newest browser that is in the market right now with all set features. And in my opinion, it's a very good and fast working browser. So if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making more for you. Till then, that is all from me and I'll be seeing all of you in the very next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.